hey guys, I'm reviewing myself, man. Look at look at me, look at me just yelling over there. You know, you know how we do. You know how we do. Okay, guys. So, uh, reviewing Inception. I mean, Lucas Paqueta. We're taking a look at someone who is 5'11", high, high work rates, left-footed. Ooh, five-star skill moves with a four-star weak foot. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. In-game player traits, he has flair, outside foot shot, technical dribbler. Guys, honestly, by default, that's really cool because this card is 100% formatted for the Shadow Chemistry style. And with the Shadow Chemistry style, this card is going to look pretty nice, right? He's going to have really good pace uh, for a midfielder, and he's also going to have defensive stats. But here's the thing. A card like this could actually be perfectly fine to use as the attacking oriented midfielder, but even in the future with improvements, he could still be the stay back cover center guy and that would be great too. The fact that he is a left footed player is a really, really big deal to work with to play him over on that left hand side. Now, obviously his original position being the cam spot, that's more for like versatile position changes guys, because for the meta of this game, um, I, it's not going to be the type of card you use as a cam, let's be honest, right? It's a midfielder, um, center mid, CDM type of deal for the most part, right? Now, if you guys remember, this card existed during that time period, and during that time period, he was actually pretty nice, right? I actually enjoyed using the card for what it was. So uh, with the showdown now existing, there's a lot of potential to work with there, okay? So on that shadow chemistry style, he'll have higher pace. Defensive stats will be in a better area. It's that plus 15 for slime tackles. It's, it's just formatted for it, you know? Shooting is going to be in a fantastic area. Dribbling, uh, also going to be in a pretty decent area for a midfielder. You can't go wrong with that. Passing, also going to be in a good area. And then for physicality, mid-80s, low-90s, very good as well. Because with the upgrade, which is, I, people always tell me it's like a plus two. Um, ugh, excuse me. It's looking pretty nice, you know? It's looking pretty nice. So, um, Honestly, regardless, I needed midfielders for the Premier League because I don't have like too many to work with for that type of role that I want to play. So that's a, a W in and, in and of itself. So yeah, let me go ahead and unlock him and I'll show you guys how we line him up. Okay, guys. So um, yeah, we, have, we actually have a pretty good team for this. Uh, do I have to use Dimitri Payet? I want to use somebody else. Can I use a... Uh... No, I can't. Oh, make sure I got to switch this. Well, maybe I can now the right back i can't french links sounds good okay so four three two one we're trying it out from the pro player the saudi pro player um yeah stay center get behind okay cool 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 um all right let's go try them out strikers up front who look to provide the goal scoring threat Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. We'll take it. Good stuff, boys. Ah, yeah. I shouldn't have done a different pass. Good pass there by Baqueta. Baqueta, though. Oh, collect that real quick. Oh, <laughs> okay. Should be able to collect that. Oh, we do actually. Look at that. That's the ball. Ah, oh, the animation. I, I thought the ball was going to be on the floor, kind of, you know, for the outside foot shot. Oh, that would have been sick, man. I have to wait to shoot the ball because you guys already know, bro. If I shoot the ball too early, he heads the ball. Should be a command for that, you know? Try to get the Ronaldo chop there. No luck. We still have the ball under pressure. We're chilling. 
emphasis is on creativity. Paqueta. Oh, surely. That worked out. That worked out. That was a good goal. Oh, wasn't a dipped one. Well done, well done. And he read it well, intercepting it. I think he got a small touch to that, like he deflected it. Not oh, sure. I got that law pass in. Oh, get it back. Good challenge. Oh, come on. Foul, maybe? Uh, sometimes they block the uh, running area, so... Good pass. Twenty minutes remaining. Just have to look a bit lively given the pressure. It's the header first time. Let's see if we can build up the play now. Oh, he did offside trap. Not enough power on that, eh? Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Paqueta. Can they forge ahead? There it is. Let's go, Paqueta. What controls the flow of the game? And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And that was a very fine read. Paqueta. Ha! Try to do an outside foot shot, he does a regular strike. <laughs> oh good! I turn around. And I still score, doesn't matter. That touch, that turnaround, you don't expect, man, and it just happens. I got like a header or something there, maybe. And skill for them to produce something exciting. Surely. Yeah. Being able to do stuff like that, guys, on the left hand side is great. Because the instructions that I have for this 4-3-2-1, it's just cover center. 
um, if I use it in the way that uh, the formation normally is, right? But obviously with this one, I have like cover wing and stuff. But, you know, being able to get yourself into a situation like that where you can score on your left foot is it's just more consistent, right? It's a really big deal to be able to, to work with that. And that's a loop shot. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that, man. You ever see like Van Dyke? I forgot who the other guy was he had. I'm just like, oh no. I am 30 feet. I'm 30 feet, bro. Oh. No, come on. I'm trying to get like a... You know, it's funny. I do those touches, but like obviously the AI will get to it properly. So I just have to do like different things. I'm, I'm applying too much logic to... Beating him on the attack there, you know? Oh! Oh, and I'm pretty sure that hit my own player too. <laughs> I don't even know what just happened right there. I couldn't tell you. Worked out, and that didn't. That's just Mbappe being Mbappe, man. My goodness oh, we're good we're not good no i couldn't time the croquetta Oh, yeah, he's got the loop shots. He's got him. Well done, Paqueta. That scum was so helpful. He fouled me? Word. Oh, Paqueta's the one that goes for it because he's left footed. Let's go. Outside foot shot. Oh, we don't green it. That's what happens. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Lucas Paqueta card. So, guys, listen, there's a lot of variables to work with when it comes to this card. Um, obviously, when you use him in game, you definitely feel like he needs the upgrade to really feel special, especially at this point in the game with the types of players that currently exist. Um, if you really believe that West Ham will win the final, this card is going to be worth getting, okay? Because it's going to be worth getting for two different reasons. So, we were using him on just the cover center instruction as well as the cover wing instruction being played in that left center mid area. And you can see all the things that he has in game, right? So the player traits, outside foot shots. Guys, because of his shooting, if they give him a plus two in the shooting department, right? Which is usually what they do with the upgraded versions of the cards. And then you could still provide this card with a shadow chemistry style. That outside foot shot for outside the 18-yard box strikes on green time strikes, that alone, people are really going to want, okay? That alone. Uh, the passing on the cards in a fantastic area, dribbling for a midfielder is perfectly fine, right? We were getting him involved in the attacking areas. When you have five-star skills, that is your dribbling, right? When you get used the scoop turns, the um, elasticos to get into the right position at the right time. But the thing is, is this. 
normally if you want really good meta players in the game nowadays you at least require like a five star weak foot on that left hand side just for more consistency right a four star weak foot works but a five star weak foot is way more preferable but with him actually having a left foot being his strong foot there's just more consistency going on over there right so obviously it's a card that requires the upgrade to be really nice but i really do believe that if he gets the upgrade he's going to be a really, really nice card to work with. Because, you know, just from the team that I currently have, right? Uh, let's say you guys ended up completing the Allison uh, SBC. You have Jolington still in your team. Jolington's awesome, right? And I'm working with, like, Lucas Paqueta over on that left-hand side. There's so many different Brazilian type of links you can work with when it comes to Paqueta and your team. Because, like, you could see that I have a League 1, Liga Santander, and the Premier League, and I'm at 33 chemistry. You know what I mean? So that's amazing to work with uh on a 4-3-2 like i said a 4 3 2 one like i said uh we were using him in that left center mid area and he did a pretty decent job but as of right now you could definitely feel like he requires the upgrade to really reach that next level it's one of those types of cards for sure but uh yeah it's uh, uh that's what the showdowns are man it's if you think it's gonna be good or you think they're gonna win it's gonna be a w to work with honestly even if he doesn't get the upgrade i would probably still use him for a little bit but you know what i really want I want the plus two for every single stat because you you really feel that thing where it's like, I really want my players to feel special. You know, like with Luc Lucas Paqueta, he has the potential to feel that way. So, um, yeah, definitely one to look out for if he gets that upgrade. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.